internet and hosting for the British Tech Network is provided by UK2.net. Innovative, affordable and reliable web hosting. Welcome to the Gamer Show. If you've been watching the live stream, I apologize because you have been here um, uh, 10 minutes longer than Sam and Chiz. Sam and Chiz only just rocked up in the last five minutes. So. We, we've actually, we were outside for half an hour trying to get through your gate. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a... Um, a of, when yeah. We a of have to take on. the yeah. tradesman entrance. Yeah, well, we're um, no longer allowed in the front door. <laughs> our, our moonlighting business can overrun with like a, a backup of tram, tramps to wank off. But we <laughs> A few of them are backed up as well. <laughs> we got a clogging situation oh, going on. Oh, yeah. Dingy okay. George was oh, like yeah. full to the brim. <laughs> Clingy George, he holds you, he won't let go. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just looks you straight in the eye at point and blank range. <laughs> oh, dear. I love that. Yeah. It's kind of quite and, intense. Yeah, yeah. And then whispers, spunk in your ear <laughs> as he goes. <laughs> Well done, well done. That's brought down a level immediately. Yep. So, well, um, brand new points to your girlfriend. Next time you go, do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, 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 I like to kind of mumble Tarquin quite often. <laughs> um, mm, Tarquin. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Right. Okay. Are we done with that? It's not working this at all. No. Are we done? Yes. Yeah, we're done. Right, okay. So um, we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of things. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's Sam's, than most weeks. Sam's definitely read the show notes anyway. So um, I have. I put stuff on, so uppity facey punch. Oh, was it you that put that rubbish on that I'd already dismissed? I don't know what you're on about now. I'm cool. going to say no. Did you actually okay. put news on, or is it just what you've been playing? Uh... Little column A, little column B, I think. I think uh, a minuscule amount of both. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, so, Uncharted, Uncharted 4. 4. If, if we, we were, were playing, playing the game, game, that would have been a fake laugh. Oh, mm-hmm. oh no, he's not the one that's smart. So, uh, I've also... So, so you can see here, we've got the Uncharted 4 A Thief's End playing away here, which is, uh, which is pretty incredible. Is everybody happy? Why is he talking? So you can hear it. I know. I fixed that one here too. It's amazing. This is weird. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End um, was at Sony's PlayStation Experience keynote on, on Saturday past the 5th of December. Um, basically, this is a trailer for the Uncharted 4 that should be coming out next March. Um, and what this basically shows us, um, if you can see it, for some reason it's going to be dark on my screen, hopefully you guys can still see it okay. But um, basically the, 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 the storyline here is Nathan Drake is reunited with his brother Sam. Uh, so we, we... Now I don't know about this. So I read there in the article it says that apparently Sam was injured and thought dead before being in prison. But I'm assuming, is that something that we should have known from a previous Uncharted? I've played all the Uncharted games and this is the first time Sam's ever kind of like... It's Sam's obviously... Yeah, sure. He's obviously thought his brother had been dead even before he played the first game. Right. Okay. Yeah, so like, that's, that's why it's kind of stunning to see him alive here, partly. But the major, obviously, thing that should have fear, and it's quite actually dull, pretty hard, um, is basically a dialogue ranching thing. But whether or not the whole game could be like that, or it's just doing that to start, so basically, it's just, like a thing where you actually find like, what your fear of Uncharted game was, which is. The unfortunate thing here is it looks like an episode of, like, The OC or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think The OC is a bit unfair. <laughs> I don't think so. Some star quality action. Yeah. I thought it was a little bit more like the Young and the Restless, to be honest. Though. It was a bit more that level. No? Jeez. What else? Jeez. What's the Young and the Restless? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Um, it's like an old bubble broker. I find the most impulsive is just kind of made really move most quickly. It's a bit like the Gil- Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I like the Gilmore Girls. I like the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, I oh, no, you do know. You surely know because it, it's taken the mick out of the most like, popular TV shows. Like South Park and like, Paddy did that as well. That's why I know that I never watched it. Ah, right. Uh, you did know it. Ah, no. Let's move on. Let's, 
I, I, I don't really know what that is either. So, so basically what happens here is you choose a, a, a plot, a, so like a conversation with your brother, and then it, it cuts away not long after here, actually. Um, and it doesn't seem to do very much, no, uh, but, but it's, it's an interesting new mechanic that uh, they've put into this. I wonder if it's an actual mechanic, whether this is just the start of the game, and part of this conversation, you're just kind of, it's basically asking you, what was your favourite Uncharted? Because that's what it is, basically, like, um, choose which Uncharted game you tell your brother about. Oh, okay. Which one of the last Uncharted games was your favourite? That's all the truth is, I think. Whether or not they're going to carry this on to the whole of the game, or it's just a bit, I don't know. Okay. So it's not doing like a Mass Effect 2 where he's in the. In the flying thing with the lash, and she, oh, that's three actually. And she's asking him, they're asking uh, questions about his previous life, yeah. I suppose. See, this is where it pans away here, but, uh, but um, yeah, I like your decision here, then opens up more dialogue, like changes the dialogue later on in the game. Say that all about that. Yeah. That's me leaving because it's friggin' boring. <laughs> Yeah, you got a little, a little landscape here, it's all very nice. Then it comes back to them. So, uh, so yeah, that's cool. So that's out in March next year. Um, cool. Okay. Um, so the chat room are saying that there's some problem with the audio. Is it just that you can hear the video? Because um, we actually that's planned. Uh, we actually intended that to happen. Um, it, it could just be us eating in the background the whole time. <laughs> no, we actually I, I wired it up so that you can actually hear the video now. Because a lot of times when we talk about. Um, uh, clips and things like that you don't actually get to see the hear the audio or anything so i've wired it up so you can actually see it now and hear it um and uh, i'm not sure if the chat room saying there's a problem with the audio coming through is, on the video or is if the, is the video audio too loud i don't know maybe that maybe that's what the issue is because that's why we switched it off previously but i thought i'd wired it up correctly this time and i thought the audio was actually okay this time so if chat room let us know uh what the what the issue is here would you rather just cut the audio from the video entirely, or yeah. Why do we keep trying new things? Well, I'm trying to make it. Be- I'm just trying to make it better. It's because last Jeez. Week, it, we were born to just kind of yeah. shuffle along at the same shoddy level. <laughs> it was because last week we failed at the most basic things. Oh, Paul we did, decided yeah. to add add more complex mm. things on top of things that we can't already do. Well, no, I thought I fixed all the things, and then I so I thought you know I fixed a bunch of things, so I'm going to make more things. And, um, you know, it's, you, that's how you kind of move on in life. You just, you, you try new things, you move on. Anyway, anyway, speaking of moving on, speaking of moving on. Place yep. to have a whack. <clears throat> nice, nice. Spice of life. So apparently, 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 are you guys ready for this? You're going to love this. Yeah, I've heard this. Yeah. yeah. So I, I have, have read, read the notes. notes. Have, have you really? I know about this. Uh, so apparently, uh, can we do a sing along? What this is. Hang on, I'll get the audio up a little bit. So apparently, this is the Mario theme tune, and official lyrics were created for this theme tune uh, during a radio contest uh, in 1985. Shall I sing along? I actually have all the the, the uh, translation written down. Here. Well, aren't they singing it in Japanese for a start? Yeah, they are singing it in Japanese, but the translation is... You're going to sing the translation. Go. In a really high-pitched voice. Like oh. oh no, they're saying that they're, we're getting some weird echoey thing coming through the system for some strange reason. Oh, sorry chat room. Uh, okay, that makes more sense now. No, you're playing out the mic channel and also your monitor channels of the mics when you switch to the video. Okay, let me just see if we can check that and see. Ah! Apologies, apologies. So um, that hopefully should have fixed that. That's my fault. Um, As per usual, we uh, people <laughs> to help us fix our crap. Sorry, we, we're not monitoring the, the audio. I should be monitoring the audio. I couldn't get enough cables to do that. Um, so we are where we are. Can chat room, can you just let me know if that's that fixed now? We are as professional audio engineers as always on British Tech Network. Hopefully that should um, solve that. Anyway, so this is the Mario fixed. Superb. Thank you very much, Jackie Hearn. Thank you. Cool. So, uh, th- so this. Uh, that's it. Sorry, Spawn. Oh <laughs> we so, are uh, smooth uh, tonight. Uh, Absolutely uh, smooth. It, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I was just trying to pay attention well, to what's going on. It's, right. it's helped us move past this Mario song. <laughs> okay, anyway, do you want me to sing the Mario song? <laughs> no? Okay. So, apparently, it goes Today, it, full of energy, so Mario's no, 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 running, no. running. Do it in a Crystal Walken voice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do voices. <laughs> when did I do voices? Uh, that you start, uh, you're starting now. <laughs> I'm not even sure. <laughs> sure about Christopher Walken. I don't know. Go, Mario. Actually, I think the official expressions that Sam's got here is probably the best part of this. Hold on. Okay, you do it. 
by Christopher Walken <laughs> impression. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, that was. I said a word. You did say a word. Sorry. Thank you very much, Sam. I forgot. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's just because it's Joy of so Michael. easy. It just trips over the tongue. It does. It does. Are we? Are we done with this Mario story? Yeah, do you want me actually go, sing the lyrics? Know, go on then, briefly, very quickly. Really? Really? You want me yeah, to go? Right, really okay, quick. here we go, here we go. go. Right, I'm going to do it as really fast as I can, okay? Today full of energy, Mario is still running, running. Go save Princess Peach, go! Today full of energy, Mario runs, runs. Today full of energy, jumping. Today full of energy, searching for coins. Today keep going, Mario, get my mushroom. It's Super Mario, get a flower. It's fire, Mario. Goomba, Troopa, Buzzard Beetle, beat them all. Mario is always full of energy. Then this bit, you're, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to speak this bit. The only one who can reverse the spell that has captured the mushroom people is Princess Peach. But Princess Peach is hidden underground in a far-off castle. Ah, the days of peace. If we could once more return to those days to save Princess Peach and bring back the Mushroom Kingdom. That is why Mario is on his journey today. Then we go back to singing. Today full of energy, Mario is still running, running. Today full of energy, Mario is still running, running. He has made it to the castle. Fireworks, slightly sidestepping the Hammer Brothers. (laughs) Show the last of your power, Mario. It's been a long journey, but it's nearly at the end. You've done it you've done it you've detected bowser sorry defeated not detected you've defeated browser browser bowser <laughs> yeah. God damn you were doing so well i was like oh, oh there are no names in this that you can screw up but. you've left uh... so you've defeated bowser princess peach says thank you mario's got a great big heart mario's adventure is over for now but mario's dream lives forever there you go it, is anyone else really worried what's fueling mario's energy <laughs> sexual rage or something well, they is keep it, taking is, Princess Peach wait, away. Yeah, can you really, yeah, you, know, you can't blame him. Like, he's, he's, he's got an awful little energy, awful <laughs> lot of energy for an Italian plumber. And, and have you seen <laughs> Italians work? Those they are lazy. They are lazy. <laughs> they are Any lazy. other races would like to just not, uh, insult while we're here? Oh, Inuits. Inuit. Bloody hell! <laughs> they are aspects. <laughs> Wandering around, polluting the world <laughs> with a bloody whale oil. Yep. <laughs> Stabbing people with the <sighs> boris tusks. Ocean tossers. Yeah. <laughs> no, and sailing the other day. Dear, anyway. Wallet gone. It's wallet gone. <laughs> Inuits. <laughs> Dirty bastards. Chubby mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Don't even get me started on was dolphins. What happened? Was, it, was, it, was it like a chubby mermaid just came in and enticed you over and emptied your wallet? No. This is a Inuit. new low, guys. This is a new low. Right. So, Went underwater in his canoe. <laughs> All right. Just up, grabbed, grabbed my wallet, and then pincer. shot off. His pincer claw hat. Yeah. They have got pincers, actually. Yeah. Comes from the third nipple. Right. Final Fantasy VII will be episodic, apparently. Sam and Chiz, does this bother you? I've never... I, I really like the fantasy. I fi- played a Final Fantasy game briefly, but... I um, haven't played them since, like, I don't know when. Yeah. Since, like, PlayStation 2, possibly. Yeah, um, Final Fantasy... It looks really good, one of by my way. all-time favourite games, but since then I've kind of fallen out with Final Fantasy, but I always find that, it's, I don't know, it's not moved to the times enough for me. And it's, yeah. At the, and at the time, I put, like, when it was in text form, you could put up with the Japanese sort of, like, mad dialogue. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 oh, so, no! So ah, ooh! Part, Part of me is kind of thinking, oh, it's cool, they're doing this, but other parts kind of going, yeah, it's not going to update very well. No, Espe- well Especially uh, when they've got awful people actually seeing the lines now. I remember Black Cannon Arm Bloke. So this is, as and you may or may not remember, uh, this was mentioned at E3 2015, that this is a remake for the PlayStation 4 of Final mm-hmm. Fantasy VII that originally came out in, what, the late 90s, I think? PS1. Mm-hmm. The PS1. That might have there. been the last one I played. Yeah. 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 Anyway, it's, and it's an absolute classic. It's, it's, it is one of my favourite all-time games. But, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, cool. But um, I'm just but, yeah, and the fat kid. Oh god, this is the last one I play. Yeah, and it's, like it, it's it's cool to see it updated, but as I say, I'm just kind of worried that it's not going to in updated graphics and obviously actual dialogue. It's going to you, you're going to go actually you're going to play and kind of go. Why did I like this game? <laughs> it's like I think it, well, it, it, the, 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 the last game when it, when it came out, it was just the, the perfect blend of like the sort of style of graphics it was and ridiculousness. And, yeah, and like 
parts will go well because like it does have some really dark elements to it, but it also has some really silly over the top things, and it'd be interesting to see how that's going to look when they do that. Well, but, but, like, but, well with right. This story, I with, think with, I know exactly what it, it is. Fine to come out with like B movie quality stuff on yeah. a B movie budget, but if you have an A list budget. You've done really, really badly if you come out with like yeah. a B movie script. Yeah, but it's like there's loads of people who are who were fans of the original, which I was a, a go mad of this. When I heard when I first heard they were going to remake it, like, I mean, it's just been good at first. There's been fans wanting it remade for a while, but I was never one of those fans. I was kind of like just let it be. Yeah. it doesn't need to be remade. Lego. Just let's just make a new game rather than. Well, the, the interesting Rather thing about this... Possibly spoiling the reputation yeah, of, that, I know. of that first one. So, the, so the, re- the story here is that the Episode 7, they've announced that it's going to be episodic, as I mentioned at the beginning, yeah. so it'll not release in one piece. What I found really interesting about this is what, what um, Square Enix uh, said in a press release. Now, obviously, this has been translated, but Final Fantasy VII Remake will be told across multiple part series, uh, with each entry proving its own unique... Sorry, providing its own unique experience. Um, the bit that confuses me about this is the original came out on PS1 on one... DVD, not even a Blu-ray. Mm. So yeah. how on earth are they needing to now? It wasn't even a DVD. It was, like, it was a, it would have been a CD back yeah. then, wouldn't it? Um, how how are they actually needing to spread the story I think it was so far? Discs actually. Was it right? Yeah. Okay, but, but still, but still, still, yeah. still, it was one package for the whole thing. Exactly. So apparently, basically, it's going to be spread over multiple discs, and they're also kind of saying that this could potentially be a situation where they um, are able to focus more and making sure that there's no bugs. And you know, we we've moaned bitterly about on the on this show about bugs and things like that that yeah. come out with the recent and game releases so it could just be that they're trying to kind of get around that and they're saying if you bring it out yeah. episodically it kind of gets around that i don't know and at the same time if it's going to be episodes how many parts is it going to be and how many it could, it could take absolutely years for them to actually finish because yeah final fantasy 7 was a massive by its time it was still a game it could yeah. take it could possibly take up to like 100 hours to complete wow. right okay that was actually a selling point like they, that they kind of like I, I remember when they put out the trailers for it but and, and and for this version, they're, they're saying they're adding to it. They're, they're adding a more open, a, a more like um, it's Midgar the city. Um, before you're just kind of there was no sort of it was exploration. You're just kind of funneled from one point A to B with some really sort of pretty graphics at the time. Mm-hmm. And this now it's they've kind of not totally open world, but it's more. You can explore more than what right, you Right, okay, there's before. more of a world to go through. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so it's good. They're going to be add more to it because it could well end up being a bigger game. I'm, I'm actually thinking they'll do a few episodes and then I wonder if it's going to go the way of Half Life 3 where it's kind of like, yeah, it's not happening anymore. Yeah. Are they selling I mean, it sorry, as one package for episodes. the price of one game? They've not, they've not, they've not announced anything like that. Yeah, I mean, there's it, still not even a release date or anything they, like, like that. If they did it that way, then fair enough. You yeah. release it episodically. I've already paid for it. You buy it for the price of a normal game and you just wait for it. Dumb. That's fine. That's yeah. totally fine as long as you if it's complete like your end of it. Ten pound per episode exactly. it adds up to like fifty episodes yeah. or something. Then yeah. they can get not. Yeah. Yes. So we'll see when that one kinda of comes out. So we've got very little information on that one just what now. What you've queued uh, up is not a new thing. Is that not the new No, that's not a new thing. Uh, okay, where's the new one? Is that this one up here? Um, are you talking about the one that I posted up yeah, the other day? That's 17th of July right. that one was published. It's, that's, <laughs> um, that's actually... it's Search uh, Total War there, like on campaign. the actual thing. If you, if you click on Total War on the link... on the So Paul, Paul's trying to put up... <laughs> or you could just go into Facebook and grab the thing that I put up. Okay, let me that just do that. This is going to be highly professional here. Yep. This is normal um, standard. Right, so Paul is looking for... Total War brought out... Um, uh, uh, a video. All the S's sound really sharp tonight. But, Did they? Uh, yeah, I noticed when you were right. doing the Mario song, and it certainly sounds like it when I'm speaking as well. well oh well, it does in my ears. Well, you know, we we can't promise anything. <laughs> hey, Sonny, come sit on my lap. Okay, good. Uh, where is it? So yeah, so got, is that there? It? You go. Right. Paul's trying to find. Here we go. Yay. Um, right. Okay. So we should have this one. A, uh, right. a gameplay walkthrough with the campaign. It's so I'm going to keep orcs. this one muted because it's probably going to be there's probably going to be yeah, some annoying guy talking, talking over the top. Well, of this. Yeah. he's not actually annoying. I'm gonna and he's not this yank. Off, and he's so, going to shoot his rectum at this knife. <laughs> so it gives you a breakdown of uh, the actual world and it shows you some of the new mechanics for it. And I found it fascinating it was brilliant i've watched it about six times i expect you will have done yep. so this is an in-engine cinematic trailer oh thank you it's just grabbing. 
There we go. They don't want to. Just, just noticed that uh, I had run out of Jammy Dodgers, so we're back with Jammy Dodgers again. It's actually been a while since we've discussed the biscuit on this show, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we just concentrate on eating now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's too much energy. Anyway, um, so so what? Sam, talk us through what's happening here. So this is the In Engine cinematic is trailer. Uh, it's about ten minutes long. Or so maybe. So at the moment, it's just looking at a map. Apparently, Skip Alpha gameplay to like three minutes or so. Three minutes in, oh, that's fine. Well, I don't minutes. know, I'm there just guessing. There we go, that's that's exactly on the three-minute right. mark. Here we go. Um, so those of you that have not seen uh, t- seen us talk about this before or anything like that, this is obviously um, a Total War game, which Sam absolutely loves. And this is Warhammer Total War, uh, which is due out April next year. I imagine Sam has some time off work pre-booked for this. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, he does. <laughs> it's just the map view, is it? Um, yeah. It's a lot more gorgeous looking than the Rome ones. A lot more gorgeous looking. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, Attila and Rome 2 were, were pretty pretty good looking, but there have been improvements. And plus, it's like fantasy worlds, so yeah. you can go a bit crazy. Oh, yeah. So they've carved a mountain into a great big dwarf there. Why the heck not? Um, yeah, it's just showing the world, showing off the kind of different areas. You get to see the dwarves. This is from the green skins, uh, the orcs and goblins perspective. Loads of new mechanics. The orcs obviously are great hulking warrior people, as they are in everything that orcs are ever in. The smaller the goblins. The goblins, the, it features a little goblin army a little bit further on, and they're doing really badly. They're surrounded by dwarfs. The goblins have this new cool thing that they can do, which is look for kind of tunnels under the ground. Are goblins and orcs not part of the same yeah. thing? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I did, well, in case for a reason there were separate um, forces or something. No, no. Well, I think they can be a little bit, mm. but um, yeah, so this little goblin army's trapped and it can't get out because there's dwarfs kind of blocking either end it's of the really cool. in, And it digs under the mountain. It does look really cool, doesn't it? Mm. I'm quite a big fan of the Total War games, not to the same level as you are, obviously, Sam, but um, I, and this, and I, I, Quite like Warhammer. It's uh, interesting to me. So this actually could be very, very cool. I think it's probably one I'm going to have to I think procure. it's going to be... If, it? if they do it right, it's going to be April, April the 18th. 28th. 18th. 28th. 18th. 28th. 28th. Maybe Who's more be. likely to be right here? I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I, I don't actually know if it's 18th or the 28th. Okay. I don't care. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's got a lot of promise if they it do really it does. well. Um, it's kind of more story-driven than previous ones, mm-hmm. so you, you choose your kind of main general at the start. Yeah, because so it was in other games, you can, the story is what you did. Yeah. Like, it's like you, can, you made your own story. Yeah. Kind of. like, um, well, I mean, you can in yeah. this, but you but pick your main hero. So for the Empire, for example, it's either the Emperor, Karl Franz, mm-hmm. and you kind of do story missions for him, and he starts just a bloke, I think he probably rides a horse, but he starts as just a bloke. You do a mission, uh, like fight a set battle or whatever for him, and he gets a magic hammer or he gets his griffin to ride on and fly about on. Golden boner. Um, yeah. On the other characters, um, some high magician blokey, and he's all about the gold. He's all oh. about the cash. Was it, um, what did you make of like? There's been a mind reading a wee while back that there was a bit of the community of Total War were a bit up in arms about how they were handling the Chaos Empire with being paid for pre-order or it was DLC or whatever. Um, I, well, to be honest, the way they've structured I... the DLC hasn't went well. Any DLC has not went down, but like, I remember reading a, an article somewhere that the community were just kind of like. Well, weren't chuffed. They announced initially that it was going to be four races off the bat. Yeah. And they've, they're they delivering those four races off the bat. I'd already pre-ordered it. If you don't want to pre-order it, don't pre-order it. If you're going to whinge, Do don't the... whinge. They're giving you chaos. They're there. Yeah. They're, they're giving you. They, they hadn't announced it until they told you they were giving it for free. So shut your damn traps. All right, so, <laughs> is, it, so is chaos free then? I thought it was paid for. No, it's free. If you pre-order it, uh-huh. but so, and uh, it's not even out, so your only choice at this point is you, pre-order it or don't. Yeah, but if you don't pre-order, then you don't get chaos. No. Well, you'll be you probably, probably will, you probably yeah, will yeah, be yeah. able to buy it. But I don't have a problem with doing that. I don't have a problem it's with them doing that. It's an incentive to DLC. It, it's an incentive, to get, their, to, pre-order. to get their money. Yeah. Yeah, but 
say there's people want to wait for reviews or other then things Then that's on, their so tough titties. Yeah, but... That, so that's the little still... goblin digging under the mountain there, by the way. Um, he was trapped by dwarfs on either side, and he's just dug straight under the massive lava spewing That's volcano. Cool. Right, it so funky. it's chaos. Is, is that going to be available from day one or day one? Or right, so it is content they're withholding from some people then that it's already done. It's just that well, they're like, not. Like, at oh, this point, the game done. isn't out, yeah, no, so but, they're not withholding it from anyone. So yeah, you can either game... order it or shut your trap. Okay, I don't think yeah, you yeah. guys are going to agree to disagree here. Right? Wait, 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 it's exact <laughs> stuff we all complained about last week, but still, Warrior's defending it. No, it's not the same. It is, because like, that's content that they're denying some people unless they pre-order. It's ready to go. Ready to go. If, it was, if it was later on, and it was DLC but it paid for later on because it's not ready, fair enough, and they, the plan to do that. you still get the game with the four races that they said you would get with the game. Mm-hmm. But you have to pre-order to get Chaos. It's just a little bonus. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, good. Grand. Agree to disagree. Okay. <laughs> What's the chart <laughs> this make does look quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> this the does look quite interesting. The, the game's still going to work. It's going to work perfectly, and you still yeah. have cool. four races so, to play through. This... You do understand why some people don't like it, though. <sighs> yeah, but some people don't like a little pinky up their bum when they're sneezing, and I do, so, you know. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right. Someone wants a job at Creative Assembly. <laughs> <laughs> he's pre- and he's prepared to do that. Okay, that, no, that's great. So we're all looking forward to that more. game. <laughs> comes out in April, the 38th. Um, and everybody's really looking forward to it on this panel. I certainly am. Sam certainly is. Chiz kind it's of can take or, leave, yeah. take or leave these but games. I won't be pre-order, so I won't be getting chaos, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it for free later on. <clears throat> what, what would, Speaking of what DLC... What will wind me up, sorry. Can I just do... It, it'll just be like 30 more seconds. Okay. What will hugely wind me up, because they're doing this in three parts... Mm. And each one bolts onto the next, and the map just keeps getting bigger and bigger, which I don't really have a problem with. What will annoy me is, along with those three sections of maps, which are supposed to have four more new races each, Mm -hmm. if they then try and sell me additional races on top of that and not just cover them all in the the three maps. I don't mind if they're putting an additional one for for if I pre-order each one, yeah. But if once the pre-order bits passed, if they then start flogging like four other random races at me for each map, <laughs> that's going to wind me up. They might do that. <laughs> we don't know. To see they, they quite possibly will because they've got a horrendous track record. Yeah, that's why. I, I mean, okay. they're not the only one. Everyone's at it, and it's. I think this, it seems to be no one's doing it right. And like, well, well do you know who is doing it right? Actually, do you know who is doing it right? CD Project Red. Paul, with right. this segue. <laughs> do you know who is doing downloadable content right? Who? Is the guys who make Goat Simulator. They're not. Because, and I'm going to put the audio up for this one. So this has uh, been a trailer. Everybody, cough up some green for the DLC. This is their DLC, um, which appears to be a flamingo, a camel, uh, a, <laughs> a dolphin in a wheelchair, and obviously you keep the goat as well. And the trailer here appears to be the four characters discussing it, um, the, the use of DLC in an American gangster. Yeah, so am I. Did that person just beat the hell out of the other person? They're just oh, yeah, they're having a fight. just put it in the game for free. I think that, yeah, it's just... Hey, giving things for free, that don't pay the bills. You don't care if indie devs count on you buying the DLC to survive? Do you know what this is? It's the world's smallest violin playing just for the indie devs. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. These people bust their ass. This is a hard job. So is working in retail selling the actual games. For those of you in the audio podcast here, here, what we're watching is four animals I'm discussing this here. Nonsense from my steam cot. Hey, leave it in your cot. Wait a minute. Who didn't buy the DLC? Valentino. Valentino? Why the hell not? So go you don't believe in it. Dolphin. Shut up. Dolphins in a wheelchair. What's the big thing? Remember, come on, you. Uh, to the right hand side of that, there's, there's two. At the moment, there's two goats and the dolphin in a wheelchair. That's a flamingo. I don't think that's a goat. It's a lot bigger. And then you got a camel as well. Two fifty for the vanilla game. I'll buy the DLC, but normally I would never do this. Yeah, so this is new DLC coming out. Uh, there's no date or anything like that just yet. So this is the third sort of DLC type thing that's come out. Get the gist of their chat. It's because it's going to be free for yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is them basically walking out of the uh, 
the uh, the tongue restaurant. Off that dolphin. Is it? <laughs> is its tongue hanging? It appears out? to. They're all hanging out. They all have the sticky tongue. Humphrey Chiabatta. <laughs> Dolph Spaghetti. Don Pastrami. I see where they're going with this. Pilgo. <laughs> the regular goat. Um, so this is obviously the third DLC that's <laughs> come out relating so to uh, Goat Simulator. Uh, there was the previous two that was Goat Z, which was a riff on Daisy. Uh, they have a zombie for survival game. And there was also the World of Warcraft inspired piss take called Goat MMO Simulator. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, so that will be coming the out at the some point. There's this guy, there's the, they get attached to each other because they're clipping out. <laughs> um, the... Uh, do you want to cover the, the uh, Hideo Kojima um, Game Awards thing? Yeah, he's so not this, going. He's not going. It's basically well, the summary. Well, he's not been. He's not it been, happened. He's not going because they told him not to. Well, yeah, but yeah, but it's just kind of showing how what, it's Konami seem to be totally going out of their way to make everyone despise them. Yeah, because of what they're doing to their games divisions, and now they're like what they're doing to their, their employees as well. There's a few nasty things I've heard about that as well, and but it, now. It was Kojima was up for an award, and yeah, and they, the, it was Konami's lawyers stopped him from going. I don't really yeah, understand the, why they would stop him. It was part him of his contract. Going. So, it was, from what I could tell, it was part of his contract. It was someone who's written into his contract to say that he can't go. Uh, we don't really know much more than that. Um, he did, however, send Kiefer Sutherland to go and claim him, um, accept his award for the Phantom Pain, which I thought was yeah. a pretty cool move. Um, host Jeff Niley, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name K E I G H L E Y. Kitely or something. Kitely? Niley? I don't know. Um, so, he also had a little bit of a dig at uh, Konami um, up on the stage um, he basically said as you may have noticed H- Hideo Kojima is not here with us tonight I wanted to tell you a bit about that Mr Kojima had every intention of being with us tonight but unfortunately he was informed by a lawyer representing Konami just recently that he would not be allowed to travel to tonight's award ceremony to accept any awards and then it goes on in the article to talk about the article that I read surely about the fact sending someone is like a bonus for that I don't yeah. understand no, how it's not well, it's Someone weirds go well. It's basically it's Konami are basically they're shuttling a lot of their games division, and they're I don't know like they're, they're basically changing the whole layout of their organization. And they've actually what I've been hearing about there's people um, high up like it's certain game designers and developers have been kind of like if they've shown that like any what what's the word like um, any sort. Of, sort of discussed what they've been doing they've been maybe right. going work in the toilets and things like that they've actually they're basically humiliating them and yeah. whatnot. So it's, 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 it sounds <laughs> quite spot. archaic I always really. wanted to run my company <laughs> <laughs> so you go um, Konami if you want a CEO Sam or Sam's your man hell yeah or even if you want a guy to clean your toilets yeah. Sam's your guy only if someone's putting the thing, uh, pinky in my bottom <laughs> and finally in the news section tonight uh, it has been revealed that you can tame wild animals in Far Cry Primal huzzah Ooh. finally I can buy it <laughs> so basically this is uh, based in uh, as we know we've talked about this game before it was again announced at E3 uh, 2015 so you this is a Far Cry that's based sort of in caveman times or prime uh, primal times uh, you Basically, the guy that you play, Takar, is a beast master, which basically means he can tame dinosaurs and saber-toothed tigers and all that kind of thing, which, frankly, is pretty much the same as Ark Survival Evolved, except this has got a little bit more Hold up, right. um, Far Cry-ish to yeah, it. Yeah, that lad there, mm-hmm. he sent his... Did he just set a mammoth on fire? Yeah. You can set a mammoth on fire. <laughs> Why would anyone not buy this game? You can set a mammoth on fire. But- right, no... There was a lad before, and he yeah. had his saber tooth, and then he set his saber tooth on something, and then a lad behind him set his saber tooth on that first lad. That's pretty wild. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's going to give you much more than uh, kind of Ark Survival Evolved will. I mean, I imagine there'll be a bit more of a story to it than Ark Survival Evolved. Well, you can't that have one, machine guns you can't really that mm-hmm. One element, they are totally different playable games because well, I played Far Cry and I played Ark, and they don't play the same at all. So. No, no, no. <laughs> but my point is that it, they're they're kind of making quite a big deal about this, and I'm just kind of saying that it's not as if this is a brand yeah, no, new no. element that nobody's ever done but, before. Uh, no, no, no. Like uh, the point, not saying that themselves, but it's just a new element to this game, mm-hmm. and it, it makes sense that it would add that in to obviously get past the fact that there's no sort of machine guns anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those lads before, just now, like 20 seconds ago yeah. on the video, did not look caveman-y. No, no, um, I think part of this video, it's the guy who's in the video, like, that was actually a part from, the, that was the Shangri-La missions from 
Far Cry 4. Right, okay. And he, he said when he first heard that they were going to do the Primal, he was worried it was going to be like the Shangri-La because he felt those bits were bollocks. Right. So he, he, as he was talking about that, he brought that up. But he said, oh, okay. but, but he's saying he's played, the, but he's played Primal and says, thankfully, it's not as bollocks as Shangri-La. Okay. <laughs> do you think that this is going to be a game in its own right, i.e. Far Cry 4, or is this a filler game while we wait for Far Cry 5? What's your thoughts on that? Um, I don't know. Badger! It's got badges. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. It's got freaking <laughs> badges. Um, I'm so sold on this. I don't know. I really enjoyed Far Cry 4, but it did did very much feel like Far Cry 3.5, and this might just be Far Cry 3.7. With, but, um, but like actually less because you've not got machine guns. And yeah, stuff like but like that. I think it still could be a fun game, and apparently you can control like the, the way and where you can actually. How big is control. that owl? It's a big owl. That's a big owl. And you can actually ride certain animals depending on how big they are. So you can ride a bear about and, and whatnot and big saber-toothed cats. But um, but yeah, I've not, I'd say like, there's still no word of any other animals in that. You didn't see any like... So there's, I don't think it looks like there's any dinosaurs at all. So it's try to be a bit more... Accurate. Realistic. Yeah. That's fair enough. But, realistic to a point. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> but it's yeah. not like uh, which is based on a alien yeah. island Yeah, thing, that, that so, is quite different. Yeah, yeah so... But yeah, cool. I think, so, I think it, I think it, um, I'm definitely eyeing it because it was Far Cry 3 and 4 were really good fun games mm. and what I've heard as well there's no multiplayer at all there's no even any co-op apparently they've, how can they've, you tell which lines which? They've, they've abandoned that I think it's got a symbol yeah, it's just got a symbol in its head by the looks of it they yeah. both had symbols before that was pretty right. this is really cool yeah yeah. I, 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 I okay. think if it's anything like Far Cry I stand 3 corrected. 4, I thought it looked a little bit fillery to be honest but. well, well like, kind yeah. of but you can have yeah. badges Paul so show well, your dirty mouth well well there you yeah, go like it's I, I th- I think there's more to it than what Blood Dragon was, which was like the yeah. the, 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 the filler the, between three and four. Yeah, I couldn't but get into Blood Dragon. That's all. All that was kind of supposed to be. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so yeah, so it is it is its proper game they're saying. But yeah, but but at the same time, I'm worried that it's coming out so soon after Far Cry Four, and it might just be more of the same, and I might get bored of it pretty quickly. So yeah, I, I see totally where you're coming from, Paul. Yeah, but I've, I have, I have had fun with them as well. Cool. And speaking of badgers. This podcast and all the others in the British Tech Network are brought to you by the absolutely superb people at UK2. Uh, they provide all sorts of uh, web hosting solutions such as DNS, VPN, VPSs, all sorts of things like that. And you can get discount on all of those things. So please head on over to britishtechnetwork.com forward slash sponsors and you will see all the voucher codes and everything like that that, uh, that you can, um, yes, that you can use, I guess, uh, type in. Use, I guess. Um, and uh, you can use those against any kind of those products at UK2. Um, if you head on over at BritishTenNetwork.com forward slash UK2, you will be taken straight to them. So also when you log back into your account and stuff like that, please use that click through too. That'd be very much appreciated. The other people I just want to mention uh, is the other people over at 100TB.com. They uh, sponsored the live show. So if you're currently watching the live show and you're in the chat room just now, um, then you will be using 100TB services. So they basically provide us a server that we can provide as a live stream which is awesome and they're great. So if you're in the States and you're looking for any kind of uh, web-related products, please go to 100db.com. The other one that I just want to mention is uh, Patreon. Uh, you lovely people have been jumping back on Patreon, which we really appreciate. There was a little lull there, I think, where people kind of forgot that we were doing it and we weren't mentioning it on shows very often. But uh, if you could head on over to patreon.com and search for British Tech Network, or alternatively, britishtechnetwork.com forward slash Patreon, and please give us a donation. Anything from a dollar a month is really, really appreciated. Uh, we're spending a huge amount of time doing um, all sorts of stuff around the offices and the studios and things like that to make sure that our stream is better. So, for example, Righty just recently got lights in his studio and I know Yoon's doing a lot of work in his studio as well and we've made some changes here as well as you will know if you're listening to the live stream we are stereo tonight reality is that cable cost us one pound if only I'd known that in the beginning anyway that's everything so gentlemen what have you been playing this week Sam I will will I start with you I don't know should I start with you well <laughs> your wild west game because other game Paul's played as well so. well I also put in uh, more time which is finally which one's you talk gone about? out of uh, of release. Uh, well, I'll I'll do more time since I've already mentioned it. Oh, have a did I speak about it? At I think length? you have actually. You spoke about it when you were when you pre-ordered it or something. Yeah. Didn't you? I, I and definitely like West game as well. Is it one yeah. of these? Can you guys tell me which one of these is? Uh, all of those. Top one. All of those. Uh, except for the Grey's Anatomy video. So we've got an ad for Skylanders. We'll just have to. Excellent. There we go. Let's just skip over that. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this is... What's the type of game is it again? Um, 
It's a bit of an odd one. It's kind of like XCOM in that you're controlling your lads, but you do it from... You control each one from a first-person perspective, but you can flip to a top-down map. So, cheers. So you're wandering around the the ruined city of Mordheim, either as a Skaven war. There are so many Warhammer games coming out at the moment. Yeah, um, I've never seen like okay, it's Games Workshop. I've seen are, yeah. are, they are aggressive. We just find in every platform, and and they're, and they're putting some good it. stuff out as well. Yeah, they're finding Vermintide. Good. I'm really enjoying Vermintide. Um, although I'd like a few more maps now. Um, so, uh, I'm just saying, um, Ross bought Ark, played it for half an hour, then got refunded. Or his computer was not good enough. All right, so oh, it, yeah. it wasn't because he didn't like it. No, I remember him doing that. Mm. I think when the real game comes out, they're probably going to optimise it a little better, yeah. Ross. So actually, well, you could probably wait till. until... Well, Xbox he was trying to play it on Mac, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it depends what your video yeah. card was. I had that same problem, Ross, on my Mac. Um, I couldn't get it to work either. But it's coming out on um... X1 and PS4. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can't join our server though. In that. No. no, you can't. Um. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So loads of loads of Warhammer games. They're all. They all seem to be really, really good. Quite impressed with stuff going on at the moment. More time. You create a little kind of war band gang. And you go out and you find stuff and things to steal and sell cool. and beat up other is gangs. It, so just start about but right. The thing I particularly like about it is that uh, the campaign is ongoing. So if your guy gets shot in the face and you manage to lose his eye, mm-hmm. he has lost his eye. Full oh. stop for the rest of the thing. Oh, you right. can also get randomly mutated or. Um, like there's there's good stuff that they can gain and bad stuff. Mm-hmm. So if he gets the hell beaten out of him, actually that could go one of two ways. He might okay. become tougher because he's taken a beating, or he could just become a bit of a cowardly scumbag because okay, that's he's taken a right yeah. shoe in the sand class. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So it's it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. It's uh, it's What's... quite full on though. It's taken me a little while. So I left XCOM off it. kind of like that as well. Though, yeah, it? I, le- I left so off those it. Those style of games are all about being punished and selling you, yeah. learning, basically having like, playing the game like... You have to learn like, how three, to four play times, it. Like, like having like, it's four attempts to start the game and then going to go, yeah. no, I now I know how yeah. to do it. Yeah. Like XCOM, yeah. it's all about building satellites. Yeah, but you don't learn that until... No. You, you're already you, yeah. even horribly massacred yeah. by the aliens several times. Yeah. So th- this... Is this is quite a bit too. What it. platforms are this on? PC. Uh, PC at, at the moment. Okay. Although I do believe it's supposed to be coming out on uh, console as well. Cool. Does it actually have a proper story and whatnot? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's quite. Th- this used to be uh, a tabletop skirmish game back in the day. All right. Um, before, before me. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. Fact, I, I I am seeing. Well, after verbatim this. They seem to they, they are they're getting developers to make game like their version of already successful games. So like here's like Warhammer XCOM, here's Vermintide Left 4 Dead. Yeah. But they're targeting games that people really liked, but at the time I suppose like there was not many because when I suppose when they started or starting this there was no XCOM two. There is now. Yeah. But the it's Vermintide was a good idea because it's not been a game like that because Left 4 Dead two was years ago and there's mm-hmm. been no nothing on, on Left 4 Dead three so they've seen that a window. Right, let's target that type of game, get out, make it Warhammer, and it's, it's the same with this, so it's actually been quite smart. Them. I think they've I done think really so, well. Yeah, definitely. Well, just skip on to mm-hmm. like two, three minutes or whatever to show the actual in-game stuff. So Start, skip Just on. skip on a couple of minutes. Oh, there you go. Wherever. Okay. Yeah, so that's he's currently controlling that lad in his army. They have kind of activation circles He's moving out right. one, two, so it's a, three. So it's a bit, you, you can control them a wee bit and more. And then he can, can only go one, that but. far. He can also walk back through the same bits that he's walked through. All right. Um, so you, you kind of... Right. It's quite tactical in it where you place come, people. It's, they've definitely ch- changed things to yeah. make yeah. it their own. Right. That does look really interesting, actually. It looks like the kind of game I'd probably quite like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's on Steam. Uh, it's on Steam um, and CD Keys. How much does it take back? Um, when I bought it, because I bought it like pre-alpha, blah blah blah, it was like 
10 quid. Right. I think it's currently going, it's supposed to go for like 20, but you'll be able to find it yeah. for cool. 15 I'd, I'd imagine, yeah, remember that. Uh, so Ross of the chat room is asking if anyone's played Skyrim online. Is it worth it? I've uh, yes, I have. And um, only if you like WoW and stuff like that. Is it was it, poo. It's not actually quite, it's just, no, it's, it's Elder Scrolls Online, isn't it? Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it, it's just yeah, I'm not into this. more of that kind of game. Good if you like it. Yeah. I just can't get into it. Yeah, it's, 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 those type of games don't interest me. That's why I'm still kind of annoyed they've turned Night's Old Republic into that. It's like, no, yeah. let's go back to a proper... God, I wish they had. Yeah, because like, imagine, because like, obviously Bioshock went and did Mass Effect, but Palm always felt like... Well, that's, yeah. a, that's a walkthrough one. Yeah. It was fine. I was just going to use it as a background thing. Uh-huh. But, um, but part of me always feels um, it was Mass Effect should have been what re- the next it was Nature Republic game should have been. Yeah. It was just going to like... Yeah, if they'd done that with Knights of the Old Republic, that would have been phenomenal. Uh, yeah. It would have sold even more just because it was Star Wars. Well, they, the, and it would have been bloody good. <laughs> yeah, the Knights of the Old Republic, the first two were oh, fantastic. Cool. I actually like, and bit of a dodgy ending on the second. Yeah, but because, fantastic. Yeah, um, the second one gets a lot of flack, but I thought up until the ending it was fantastic. But mm-hmm. unfortunately, they screwed the ending because they didn't have, they weren't given enough time to finish the game. Yeah, like I said, it had to be out, so they had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. Like it's another time sort of game, which is kind of like just give them a few more bloody months to finish the game. Yeah, I have been playing Fallout Four. Um, What's I, that, Paul? I, well, so we've talked about it on the show last week, so I'm not going to really spend a huge amount of time talking about it, I have to say. But, uh, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 as well. So oh, I've not actually... I, I, I've I'm played three days now, and I think it's... Wow, right, okay. So I'm, I'm nowhere near that. But I just wanted yeah. to kind of... I just wanted to kind of give you um, a little bit of a take on of my first time using it, playing it. I it was really, really engaging. I got really into it to begin with. Um, it opens I think, up pretty quickly. I think I made a bit of a screw up quite early on and um I've not managed to work it out to build houses yet. Because so I, I hopefully I'm not gonna give away any spoilers. The game has been out for a little while, so hopefully I'm not gonna give away too many spoilers. It's but it's start to work. Um so to the, it's like really early on. So basically you go I found a um a place that there was some refugees kinda um, sorry, some uh, villagers kinda hauled up and it was an old museum. Yeah. Um independent state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm supposed to go upstairs, get the power armor, get a machine gun. Uh, used all the bullets from my machine gun, taking out the humans running about in front of me, uh, and uh, then had nothing to try and kill the massive big beast. The death claw. The death claw that's kicking about. So my only option was <laughs> run away. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to defeat it like half a dozen times. Couldn't. Just Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thanks, <Lord. Bye. laughs> I couldn't defeat it because I had all I was looking was like shooting with a handgun from a distance. I had no option. I, I've walked all around that village to try and see if there was like some more ammo I could find from a um, bolt gun or whatever it is, um, spinning machine gun type thing, minigun. Yeah, couldn't find anything. Eventually, gave up and wandered off. And so now, basically, I'm wandering off. I've got no concept of what I'm supposed to do, I and I think I'm really interesting. Yeah, that's I think I've wandered no, far no. too far away. But the thing is, like, you can still go and do random things. That's, that's but I've not, I've not done it because I think I've left, I've, I left the story too early that I've actually not no. learned how to do too much. Do you know stuff. what? No, you can, you, you can learn all yourself. No. Yeah. All right. I've not found anything yeah. yet. So I'm I just wandering in, through the wilderness. Just before we but move on a little bit further, wait. It. Just before we move on any any further, if anyone's jumping in to Fallout right now, don't do that. I would strongly, <laughs> strongly advise just doing a quick Google on, like, the 10 things I need to know to yeah. play Fallout I, 4. I'm sure on The Guardian, like, they've actually got, well, they've done two of them, by the way. Like, um, there was 12 things Fallout 4 doesn't tell you about, which yeah. you should know. And then they did another one. It's like, another 12 things you should really know about. Which, yeah. So, don't, so it's don't one of them, for don't walk use through. the, the yeah. minigun uh, before you've <laughs> no, killed the claw no, thing. I've never seen anyone else do that. That's phenomenal. <laughs> I, guess, I wonder what you'll be able to do is you can go off and start doing random sort of side quests. I oh, know, I've started doing side there. quests because I've then, got no option. And then rank up, then come, then get some weaponry and then come back and see the death claw still there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I have, I have just had to wander off. Yeah. I had no option. I wonder if the mission just restarts or something. I don't know. I don't Let know. us know. Get back to us on that. Well, so uh, it occurred to me when I was writing the show notes and deciding I was going to talk about Fallout 4 tonight, um, it occurred to me that I probably have a save point I could go back to prior to getting the minigun. Don't. And do then go back I, and do I it I love properly. the fact, like, all three of us, so you continue from where you are, and I guarantee you all three of us will have completely, totally different experiences. Yeah. Okay, I will try that. I've gone For off the and done of loads of missions. 
Um, Chase has built tons and tons of stuff and leveled up like faster and a bit further than me, I think now. I'm level 50 now. Yeah. Um, and I, I've just been doing kind of missions and exploring and trying to avoid the main quest or really joining yeah. any of the factions. I've always started doing some of the main quests now, but I've done like a point. Like well, I have no option. I can't join the main <laughs> quest anymore. Yeah. Like, whereas you, Paul, that have become that... like the Charlie Chaplin or something <laughs> of the Fallout world. I'd love it if you if you come back to that building to find the Death Call just wandering around and you sneak inside just to find the, the dead skeletons of the people you left behind. Starved. <laughs> Not just, eaten by yeah, the Death Call, just, just starved to death. on the walls their own thesis of how much they hate you. Yeah, yeah, I apologise to those people I left behind. Yeah. I, well, you know, I really enjoyed kind of working my way through that um, the, the museum as well. It was quite satisfying the way that you come through that museum. Yeah. And, yeah. Have you yeah, done? Quite nice. the, have you done the Silver Shroud mission? You heard about yes. Yeah. I'm loving this. I'm I'm actually uh, the starting the second lot. Yeah. Like, like, it's not a spoiler, but like, it's like, like you obviously in full when you get to talk to people, you get a choice of how you want to talk to them and whatnot. Did, every choice did you do the voice of the silver yes. shroud yes <laughs> I would actually I really would have loved it if you had that option whenever you because I'm wearing it permanently now yeah I wish I had that option of every time I'm wearing the silver shroud to Just, give a silver shroud answer to yeah. everything yeah I'm not. Um, I'm not wearing it anymore because it's just like the armor that I'd made was far, far strong. Yeah, but I've still got it. I'm not throwing it away. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so I will continue on and report back uh, yeah. and see how how I actually get on. Given that I have no option but to completely abandon the story mission now, um, because I have absolutely no way to get rid of this massive beast thing that's hanging about in the middle of the village. Um, for the record, if anybody else does this, it's probably about an hour into gameplay, maybe. Probably not even that 45 minutes, maybe yeah, something in the gameplay like, it, that you it, make it, that decision. It's kind of the first sort of like proper shooty you start doing. Yeah. I wish they first hadn't done that bit. Yeah. I wish yeah. they hadn't done that bit. They, they, uh, they do give the power arm a bit too early. Way too early. I, I wish the power arm. Yeah. Too early as well, I yeah. Think. A death claw should be something that you're terrified of and you don't want to see until like you're level 40 or something. Mm. Yeah. It, it, but they, they threw it in far too early. They gave you the the armor which you can continue to wear as long as you have um the, upgrade the, and whatnot, yeah. the uh, fusion whatever's yeah and and, and repair it, when it, breaks. it just gives you a certain sense of invulnerability mm-hmm. that i don't think you should have that yeah early. that early in the game it is very early in the game um one but, major uh, thing I've, I've definitely liked over the past fallouts is uh, it's a gun well obviously fallout 3 is a game it's actually like but um is the actual gunplay even not quite as good as like a proper first person shooter, but it's definitely much better for it. Three actually feels when you actually get certain weapons, they feel quite meaty, they're satisfying sounds, yeah, and the way limbs and heads blow apart as well. Is really satisfying. The uh, the the lasers, there's been a huge oh, improvement, yeah, yeah lasers yeah. kind of have a, been... a click and a, and a kick to them, yeah, yeah, it really you know, feels like a gun. Now. And, and, and another thing, and, and you guys are probably gonna roll your eyes at this bit, but the bit I it's been a while since I've been really moved i think is the right word with a storyline and yeah. maybe it's because i'm a dad or something but i'm i, I get it spoilers yeah. it's really early on but that that kind of yeah. got to me a little bit yeah yeah it's really and, early and on it's it's missus as well mm-hmm. yeah that whole thing your husband whole if husband, you've got yeah. a woman yeah or exactly whichever way but that whole thing just yeah. kinda, it kind of got to me and i was oh, that was pretty full on like yeah, the yeah. and and then the and, and you, you're having yeah. to watch it all and stuff. I mean, right? I wasn't sitting there greeting, but... No, 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 yeah, but, you it was, know, it was like, whoa. It was really oh. well done. Yeah. You've been in the bottom of the show. I did, <laughs> generally, I have to say, I, I did not enjoy the first hour of the game. Right. It... it Fallout's, like, know. special Fallout 3 in New Vegas, oh, the, the, the void, I was kind of the same where... Well, I, I didn't dislike it, but it took me... I, I, basically, I basically had to go away from the game for a bit, then sit back down, and then I felt like I was properly getting into it. It's like, it, it takes a few hours for me to actually... <laughs> Getting grossed in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw a thing the other day. So it, it's, I don't think I'm really spoiling anything by mentioning the stuff with the kid. But so that like, Fallout One is, um, you're a vault lad and you have to go out and yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. find a, a a water chip to keep your vault going. Uh, Fallout Two is you have to save your tribe. Uh, Fallout Three is look for your dad and save the the Liam wasteland. Your dad's Liam Neeson. <laughs> yeah. Fallout Four is save your son. Well, so I'm finding the whole son thing interesting. And again, spoilers here, but so you've been in the vault, according to your little robotic dude, two hundred years. Yeah. You 
clearly went back to sleep following the little kerfuffle. How long for? No long one for? knows. Well, that's my point. So no one knows. No. But no, no, no. The, uh, that's I thought, the thing. I, I thought the dialogue when he came out was very much like I'm going to find my son. But the first thing I'd be kind of going is I have absolutely no mm-hmm. idea when that happened. But, that could have happened I, last week. It yeah, could have happened ten yeah, years ago. I, it, but you'd exactly. still want to find That's your true. son. That is true. Exactly. That is true. Like, like you're not gonna, you're gonna go. Well, either way, I'm still gonna see what. I'm trying my grandson, maybe. Or but, but you're not gonna go. Well, I'm just gonna assume that was 50 years and he's dead. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> That's I, true. That can is. I just I'm go really on this vault and get pissed? <laughs> can I just go into what what I was saying? The uh, sorry, sorry, sorry Sam. The, the the final one is Fallout New Vegas, which is show me the asshole who shot me in the head, Chandler Bing. And like the rest of them are all about I'm saving people. Vegas. The rest it, of them are all about Matthew saving Perry. people. Hmm? He's voiced by Matthew Perry. Is yeah. he really? All the rest of it, saving people. Yeah. Pull out new Vegas yeah. is. I am gonna rip that yeah. guy a new asshole who was in the game because he's a big Fallout fan. Yeah, well. yeah. There you go. Everyone is there. Cool. Okay. Uh, it, cheers. What have you been playing this it, week? It, I, 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 I missed Ron Perlman. Mm. No, no, he was the newscaster on the tele- on TV. Oh, was he? Yeah. I did not notice that. Yeah. Right, so what, Chess, what have you yeah, been playing this week? But he didn't do the war. He didn't no, do yeah. the war. Because you see it. So, yeah. it Ross been uh, is saying that the, uh, the the claw thing might die of old age. He might very well do. Yeah. That's quite possible. Like, Chess, what have you been playing this week? You could actually, like, I've fallen out of it. Oh, right, okay. We've kind of covered that. I've not played anything new. But I was going to say, like... I, was just, I said it as a joke where you could just go and get pistol time, but you could. In Fallout 4, you could play anywhere. You could, you could literally build yourself a hut, just travel the wasteland, finding alcohol, have nothing but alcohol, go back there and just get pissed every day. Yeah. <laughs> you could do that if you wanted to. I, for a little while, started my Fallout day by going from, um, oh, what's the main, well, your first place that, that you come to? Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Walk from Sanctuary down to have you found the bloke who just has like a little bar in the middle of nowhere it's it's just like a little stupid shop front no one around him he runs his pub it's just him standing there selling booze nice so i tracked down to him bought a couple of bottles of booze (laughs) walked back again and then started off my adventure (laughs) and i did that a few times it was really enjoyable cool because booze will give you like obviously if you drink too much of it it'll do bad cool. things but you can also get certain boosts for example i think you can actually carry more things well, wow. you obviously you know you, 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 yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, so you can actually literally it adds like i think it's plus 25 to how much you can carry <laughs> for like a few hours because you think it. you're invincible <laughs> yeah it, it, sh- it should be it should be based in scotland yeah, so yeah you're not yeah. back back a few and you can go out without feeling the cold <laughs> Cool. So that's that's it. Fallout Four is basically the three of us have been playing. Sam's also had that. Um, what was it? More more time. More time. More time as well. So uh, thank you very that's much for joining us. Uh, that was us. I don't know. Do you want to do a show the week of Christmas? I don't know. That's two weeks today. Will be the week of Christmas. We could do. I'm going to be Why off. So we, we could do, do it during it the day like or something. The end of. We'll do it sometime during the Christmas period. It might not be the Monday night. Two, two weeks yeah. today but we'll, we'll do a show during the Christmas period as well um, so uh, if we don't speak to you before have a lovely Christmas and a new year and all that kind of good stuff and we will see you in the new year if you want to get a hold of us please uh, email <coughs> British Tech Network at gmail.com you can tweet me at Paul Wheatley on Twitter uh, sorry I've put the camera on me now um, oh, at Paul Wheatley sorry, on Twitter no at British Tech Network on Twitter sorry at British Tech on Twitter uh, go on over to Patreon uh, and give us all your hard earned cash or just even a dollar anything less than a dollar don't bother because it costs us more than that to actually get the money so um, at least a dollar if that's okay or, or nothing we're, we're totally fine to keep doing this for free we don't really care um, uh, so really appreciate everything that you can give to us uh, head over to the Facebook page um, uh, we have a lot of stuff going on over there so just search for the Gamer Show on Facebook um, search for the Gamer Show on Google Plus and all that kind of stuff and um, yes and that's it so uh Happy Christmas and uh, happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, happy not working for a week or whatever. Join us on Ark. If if yeah, anyone actually join joins, I'll 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 come back and play some Ark with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got an Ark server. Give it, drop us a line, uh, either the email address or the Twitter or anything yeah, like that. Previous. Everyone who's played Fallout Four as well, tell us your Fallout Four stories. We'll them yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to hear about your Fallout Four stories. So who's everyone's favourite companion? Yeah. It's, I, it's approaching January, so. Tell us what's been your favourite game of the year as well. It'd be good to know what everyone's game of the year has been. Yeah, yeah, but game of the year, please, please let us know. Uh, Ross has just reminded me, quite rightly, that we have an offer on just now. It's not a gaming offer. Uh, it's for MacPaw software for you to get um, money off MacPaw software for your Mac, for Mac Cleaner. Um, uh, I, sorry, that's well remembered, Ross, but I can't actually remember any of the details about that offer. 
so let me just try and find how where I can uh, see if I've accidentally got it saved. Uh, no, I don't. Um, tweet Ewan <laughs> at British Tech and ask him for the voucher codes to get some money off Mac Paul. He's, I think he's uh, just put the link in for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. My faithful assistant, Ross, uh, has just popped the link in the chat room. So it's macpaw.co.uk forward slash BTN. And um, that gives you some money off. Oh, I don't think that is the correct link, actually. <laughs> macpaw.co.uk. <laughs> for God's sake, Ross, you're bloody useless. <laughs> we give you 50 There we jobs. go. So it's macpaw.com forward slash BTN. Uh, and uh, so Clean My Mac 3 is normally thirty four ninety five, but by using that voucher code, uh, you get it for twenty four forty seven. It's an awesome piece of software for cleaning your Macintosh if you are a Mac user. So thank you very much, Ross, for letting us, uh, reminding me of that. I should have mentioned that in the show. I think there's also money of Gemini as well for finding duplicates across your computer. Thank you very much. It's been awesome. See you in the new year. Good night. Toodles. Toodles.